This video is going to show you how to perform inference on two population variances. Let's actually use the exact same example that we used to compare the difference of two means to demonstrate how we can compare population variances. We're looking at QWERTY keyboard users versus Dvorak keyboard users. A sample of 20 QWERTY keyboard users found that they type with an average speed of 62 words per minute and a sample standard deviation of 18 words per minute. A sample of 8 Dvorak keyboard users found a sample mean of 71 words per minute with a sample standard deviation of 13 words per minute. What we want to know is if the standard deviation of the typing speeds of QWERTY keyboard users is greater than the standard deviation of the Dvorak keyboard users at the 5% level of significance. Note here that we don't care about the population means. This is very similar to the chi-squared test for a population variance, where we weren't concerned about the mean. We're only asking if one keyboard offers a more consistent typing speed than the other. The problem here is that we're again working with two populations, but this time we're comparing the spreads of these populations, how far apart the observations are. We need a different type of test. That test is the F-test for the ratio of two variances. The F-test for the ratio of two variances is used to determine if two populations have variances that are equal to one another. The only condition that we need here is that both of the population variances are unknown. If this holds, then the test statistic for the ratio of two variances follows an F distribution, and it's literally the ratio of the two sample variances. Your test statistic for the F test is the sample variance from your first sample divided by the sample variance from your second sample. It's basically looking to see how much larger one variance is compared to the other in terms of a ratio. This test statistic has two parameters for the degrees of freedom. Your numerator degrees of freedom, denoted by V1, is going to be the sample size from the first sample minus 1. The degrees of freedom in the denominator, denoted V2, is going to be the sample size from the second sample minus 1. Let's set up our hypothesis test. Since the standard deviation of the QWERTY users is larger than the standard deviation of the Dvorak users, it will make our test a little easier to denote the QWERTY users as population 1 and the Dvorak users as population 2. What you'll see is that this will keep our test statistic greater than 1, which is a nice property to have when working with the F distribution. Here's a summary of all of our statistics so far. The sample variance of the QWERTY users is 18 squared, which is 324. The sample size for the QWERTY users is 20. The sample variance for the Dvorak users is 13 squared, which is 169. And the sample size for the Dvorak users is 8. Note also that the hypothesized ratio for this test is 1, and we're doing the test at the 5% level of significance. In order to set up the hypotheses, notice that the question that we're asking is in terms of the standard deviation, but the actual test that we need to perform involves the variances. There's no specific test that we can use for just the standard deviation, but since the standard deviation is just the square root of the variances, the F test for the ratio of two variances is equivalent to comparing the standard deviations. What this really means, though, is that the hypotheses have to be in terms of the variances. We want to know if the variances of the populations are equal, so the null hypothesis is going to be that the variance of the typing speeds of the QWERTY users equals the variance of the Dvorak users. Since we suspect that the variance of the QWERTY users might be larger, the alternative hypothesis is going to be that the variance of the QWERTY users is greater than the variance of the Dvorak users. However, notice now that we have a situation where there's no hypothesized ratio in our hypotheses. We can't subtract one variance from the other because we're not interested in the difference between the variances. We want to know how many times larger one variance is compared to the other. Since the Dvorak users are population 2, we'll divide each side by the variance of the Dvorak typing speed. This gives us the variance of the QWERTY users divided by the variance of the Dvorak users is equal to 1 in the null hypothesis. In the alternative hypothesis, 
we have that the variance of the QWERTY users divided by the variance of the Dvorak users is greater than 1. The nice thing about the F-test for the ratio of two variances is that the test statistic is incredibly easy to calculate. The test statistic follows an F distribution, and it's literally the ratio of the two sample variances. In this case, we have the sample variance for the QWERTY users divided by the sample variance for the Dvorak users. The sample variance for the QWERTY users was 324, and the sample variance for the Dvorak users was 169. 324 divided by 169 gives us a test statistic of 1.917. Keep in mind that the F-test for the ratio of two variances has two parameters for the degrees of freedom, one in the numerator and one in the denominator. The numerator degrees of freedom is the sample size from the first sample minus one. We took a sample of size 20 from QWERTY users, so the degrees of freedom is 19. The denominator degrees of freedom is the sample size from the second sample minus one. Our sample size for the Dvorak users was eight, so there are seven degrees of freedom in the denominator. To calculate the p-value, realize that in the alternative hypothesis, we have a greater than sign. This tells us that we're using an upper one-sided test. The p-value for this test is going to be the area above 1.917 in the F distribution with 19 degrees of freedom in the numerator and seven degrees of freedom in the denominator. Just like with the t-distribution and the chi-squared distribution, we can't use an f-table to get an exact p-value for this test. We have to use some kind of software to get it. Using Excel, we can find that the p-value of this test is 0.1928. With a relatively large p-value, it makes our decision pretty easy. We're going to fail to reject the null hypothesis since the p-value of 0.1928 is greater than the level of significance of 0.05. Our conclusion is that there is not enough evidence to conclude that the variance of the typing speeds of QWERTY keyboard users is significantly greater than the variance of the typing speeds of Dvorak keyboard users. We're getting close to finishing off this table. The f-test for the ratio of two variances goes in the middle of the bottom row. We're comparing two populations, and the parameter of interest here is the variance.